What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to manually update Windows 10 if for some reason it's not offering you the latest feature pack. At the time of recording, the latest pack for Windows is Windows 21 H1. If I hit start, type in update and open up the check for updates window, you'll see the available Windows update downloads. As you can see over here, feature update to Windows 10 version 21 H1. All I have to do is click download and install, but if you came across this video, more than likely you don't have this over here. If you're not too sure what your device is running, on the right hand side, click OS Build Info. That'll take you across to another page where you'll see under Windows Specifications, the version that you're currently running. I'm running 20H2 at the time of recording, and of course I'm able to update to 21H1. So if you don't have it here, what can we try and do? Well, if you simply restart your computer, then sometimes this will pop up, sometimes it won't. But let's assume that it doesn't. What can we do? Well, this isn't necessarily only for Windows 21 H1. This will work pretty much indefinitely in the future for upgrading to any other versions that are available publicly. In the description down below, you'll find a link to the Windows 10 Update Assistant. As you can see, Windows 10 May 2021 Update. All you have to do on this page over here is click Update Now. It'll then download a tool that upon opening up will prompt you that there's an upgrade for your Windows 10 available. This is a tool that installs, so if you see a new icon on your desktop and in your start menu, make sure to go ahead and uninstall it when you're done if you don't want to use the software again. Upon clicking update now, it'll start downloading the update and install it on your computer, regardless of whether it's showing up in the Windows update screen. So I'll say don't update for now, cancel just to close out of it, and that's about it for this. If you're still struggling, what else can you try? Well, in the description page down below, I've linked the Microsoft official support page if you're trying to update Windows. I've already run through the first two steps in this page, of course, Windows Update and the Windows Update Assistant, but there's a couple of other options. They do say to clean up some space if you're warned about Windows Update not being able to run due to free space, make sure that your internet connection is working properly, and then they link across to a more in-depth troubleshooting guide page, which will also be linked down below. On this page, you'll find lots of steps with easy explanations of exactly what you need to do to make sure that things are working properly on your computer. Though, of course, this is all extra steps that you can probably go ahead and ignore. This page over here isn't really necessary for 90% of computers that just refuse to update as the update assistant will fix it for you. If you're part of the unlucky 10% or so, then that troubleshooting page should definitely hold the solution for your issue. But anyways, this was just meant to be a quick video pointing you to the one most common solution and of course giving you extra steps if you need any more support beyond this point. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.